What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Spooky Screen. You're joining us for a special episode, a reunion of sorts. We're all back from a small hiatus, and we're ready to review the latest three episodes of Yellow Jacket. So I'm here with my co-hosts, Dave, Nick, Stephen, and Noah. And we're going to go through episodes six, seven, and eight of season two and let you know what we think. And we have a special event at the end, so stick around and hang out. With that, Noah, do you mind introducing us to these three episodes, episodes six, seven, and eight, and give us a quick recap before we get into whether we liked or disliked them? Yeah, this is going to be a super quick recap. Um, episode six is called Key. I think it's it's Q-U-I, so however you say that, I'm guessing Key. I don't Key. know. Key is the one where we have a birth, a death, and maybe a murder, question mark. That's where Shauna has her baby, and then it dies, or maybe doesn't die, Spoiler or maybe gets alert. eaten. We don't know. Spoiler alerts. Spoiler sorry. alerts, sorry, yeah. Out. And then um, in, the, of obvious when you recap. in the future timeline, all the ladies reunite at Lottie's compound. Um, episode 7, called Burial. And this is basically where Coach almost kills himself and Shauna beats Lottie to almost to death. And then and Shauna buries her baby. Um, and in the future timeline, we learn that Van has cancer and Jeff calls Shauna to tell her that Adam's body has been unburied. And then number eight is... Off the walls. This is the one where um, Nat gets hunted by the group because she draws the Queen of Hearts with the eyes. Don't ask. Um, but instead of Nat diving, sorry, while that's happening, Coach finds a secret tree hideout where Javi has been so supposedly living. living. And then, speaking of Javi, he dies in a frozen lake. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then in the transition, and then Rest in the in future. Peace timeline Lottie gives them all cups for with supposed poison in it to say the we we will sacrifice one of us to the wilderness one of these cups is poison we will see who we who should die to stop all this from happening to us to stop the darkness yeah so it's a russian roulette of sorts yeah it's a russian roulette but it chooses cuz that's the name of episode 8 mm. Nick would definitely be the one to draw the poison cup out of us five. Sorry, bro. <laughs> it's, I love you. I love you, though. I love you. Ask him why, Nick. Yeah, well, yeah. T -t 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 tell me why. Does it have just... to do something with my minority status? No, oh, come on. I'm a minority. <laughs> Don't put You're not the same minority. minority. Do you like that? Don't put that on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> the minority, I'm just saying, minority you crime. Be the, you're the one to take <laughs> over the team. And with that, I want to say on the count of three, you guys have to let me know where you sit with this show after these three episodes since we last convened multiple weeks ago. So on the count of three, I want a thumbs up if you're jiving or thumbs down if you're not. One, two, three. activating spooky screen protocol we've made a special protocol in case we don't want to watch a series anymore <laughs> and i think now at the end of this episode we're gonna have to vote if we're gonna stop watching it and the best part is there's only one episode left <laughs> in the season so I, I, that actually is a, is that a would be like, the will height we of vote, pettiness will we vote to watch that yes. or will we vote to skip that do that we hate be, this enough to not finish to it. really let them know that they've just okay with that oh, nick oh, I oh, they'll hear... hear about this they'll hear oh, about they, us five they're gonna oh yeah well, i'm gonna email it to <laughs> this them video directly. gets over a thousand oh, views i will <laughs> write a strongly worded letter i'm gonna do an email but that you do <laughs> uh, nick, i want to hear give me give me something you liked from the series or the especially the last three episodes and give me an example or two of things that you have not liked I can't give this show a lot of grace. The only thing I can really give this show is that the acting is very on point for their situation. And it only very much in particular in the past. The future, even if they're doing a good job acting, just how I feel about this show gets in the way of it. So I okay. can't give credit to the good the acting. acting in the past. Got it. Yeah. The girls who do <laughs> the girls who act in the past 
are fantastic. They're phenomenal. They they do a fantastic job. They do great. Um, Shauna in Future particular, Hollywood. Shauna in particular during the whole birth episode, I thought that that was I don't want to say a breakout moment, but like that was great for her. That was the only thing that kept my attention, like her her going through what she was dealing with. Uh, now to get to what I d- just don't like is that this show really has a tendency to focus on the things that don't matter. They make up plot that you that should be very important, and they just keep pushing it to the side. And they're like, "Look at all these things that we're doing right now." Uh, and examples of that are. We want to know what happens in the past. We want to know what's going on between the girls. We want to know what's going on with Lottie being more unhinged because Lottie's seeing the deer or the antler queen. And then they kind of just push that aside and the girls are like, look, we're having girl time because this is the first time we've gotten together in years. Yay, us. Yes. You're right. Yes, queen. Yes. yes. Queen. yes. Uh, or the fact that they're very much just still trying to focus on Misty having a relationship with Walter to the point that they have a whole song and dance moment for and a show that does not need a song and dance moment. This is supposed to be very serious, like thrilling. And then they're just like, hey, want to want to see a, a guy in a bird costume dance and then be a thespian and try to give her love advice? No. Like, why should I care? That's not what's important. And they're just like, I know this isn't important, but you should really care about it. And I'm like, what about the important things? And they're like, that's not important. So if the show does... If the show doesn't think it's important, then I don't care it, it, to keep watching. I do agree, though, with Nick in the one sense. Misty, they've taken a real keen interest in her personal interests and likes, where everyone else is kind of just kind of on the edge of their nerves. You, but... know, what's, you know what's really funny to me, though? Shauna got elected a couple of weeks ago and is literally a state senator, and she's been missing this entire time. Not Shauna. Sorry, oh, Taisa, not Shauna. Taisa, 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 Taisa. Yeah, Taisa. Yeah, yeah. She's just, I keep thinking about that from American time to time. politics, I'm like, baby. I'm like, <laughs> or the fact that her wife is in the hospital, and then that. Yeah. After that, who cares? Her, her wife. Who's watching the kid? Her wife right? is in the hospital in a coma. A wall state senator. Yeah, like, wouldn't that be all over the news? Like, state senator has not be, been seen for 14 days since yeah, the, right. the mysterious car crash that incapacitated her wife. I don't know. I just. I'll summarize, but only because you have a short touch span. Female, <laughs> the female actresses, not the male actresses, the female actresses only in the past were good at acting, <laughs> not in the future. Very specific. And Nick feels like there is no commitment to uh, resolving plot points. They push things that are important consistently to the side, and he is fed up with that. He wants some commitment. He wants to get married. I mean, he is a recently married man. It makes sense. He's on some commitment in his life. Okay. Mm-hmm. So let's see, uh, Stephen. Do you agree or disagree with any of these? I want to hear what you liked and what you disliked. Yes. Reiterate Nick's point about the actors acting, uh, doing well. I think that the acting is not the problem of the show. I think it's unfortunately the writing. Um, and one example I'll give, actually two quick examples. One is that you... There, there seems to be a lack of setup um, when the show is trying to pull the big reveals. And one specific example that comes to mind is the discovery of the secret cave network that Ben makes where Javi supposedly hid himself and was able to outlast the winter wilderness for X amount of days and finally uncovers. It was briefly hinted at in like a five second scene earlier this season with a moss covered trunk and some steam rising from it. But it wasn't really this. It was the timing of it that caught me off guard and kind of put a bad taste in my mouth because literally, like a couple scenes later, Javi emerges from his monkish devotion to silence and tells Natalie that he will hide her in a safe place. And that just kind of seems to me to be a bit of an impatient uh, display of writing. Like you can't set up things five minutes before you're going to actually execute the payoff. And that was indicative of just them kind of being like, oh yeah, we, we briefly hinted at this. Let's use it now. Um, and just kind of get the episode rolling, rolling around, uh, rolling along, um, if better put. The other example is Natalie and Shauna's face off when she draws the queen of hearts with the blacked out eyes and Shauna 
And that's the sacrifice scene where Natalie realizes that she drew the wrong card. Her life is going to be sacrificed in order to keep Lottie alive. And Shauna puts a knife to Natalie's neck, but there's just no sense of danger or risk in that because you know that Natalie makes it. And I get that that's not the point of the show, but when the show constantly tries to set up these sequences where it's like, oh, wow, what's going to happen next? And you have a flash forward, flash forward portion of the show that dedicates itself to these adult women, those types of scenes carry no impact. So you really need to be able to write around that and come up with a more creative way to introduce risks and dangers and a sense of threat that doesn't get undercut by the future storyline. So that's, those are two specific examples Thank of you, like things that didn't work. Yeah. I was going to cue the Oscar music, but <laughs> I, I want to recap. Uh, acting is good. Writers are not good. I think that was a verbatim quote. Oh my god! Uh, Actors good, writers bad. There goes, there goes my writing. There goes my writing career. <laughs> hey, you didn't need it anyway. Uh, then there was a lack of setup with the discovery of the cave and and kind of an impatience and immaturity about delivering that plot line, which I I think was actually a really big not, not immaturity moment. And again, yes. no, it is immature. Well, immaturity in the sense that. You know, they keep doing this on every single important buildup. They like have this very subtle hint. They introduce a thing and then it doesn't matter or seemingly doesn't matter. And then they bring it up again in two seasons. And then there's no sense of risk. With the Queen of Hearts was a good example. And this is, a, this is one of the best examples in the show of why you can't have two plot lines in different timelines that talk to each other because neither one matters. You, it's like, what's the point? It would have been... The show could have been just as interesting if they did two seasons of The Woods and then two seasons of The Future, and then suddenly you're seeing the payoff of some of these decisions or something. But anyway. The reason, the reason why it works on Lost... Steven, you have your hand five up. Five seconds. You want to... Okay. Ten five seconds. seconds. The reason why it works in Lost is because the flashbacks were selective, and it wasn't showing everything that was happening in the past. That's it. it in, in Yellow Jackets. Good. Under ten seconds. Seven. Agreed. That Dave. was great. <clears throat> Very good. Very good. Very, nice, very, very good. Nice, His writing career nice. is intact. Very good. <laughs> Dave, we'll see. Let's hear from you in a very, you know, succinct, but succinct. also long way. <laughs> and that describes me perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> what I like is uh, I'm going to reiterate everyone else's point is I like the acting. I think these, they casted, Was they it casted good? everyone very well. I think what lost me ultimately on these last three episodes is kind of what we've been hinting at is the maturation of plot points. They don't let anything mature or they don't let anything simmer. Everything is so breakneck and jerking this way and that way. Like they start a plot point and they close a plot point so fast that we don't even have time to like see it's 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 importance like with with jackie's baby in episode six that was a plot point for the whole season that she was pregnant or that was like Shana's a season baby. reveal sean sorry sean's baby um he said what he said it's <laughs> he said what i said it should have been jackie's baby jeff's a cheater <laughs> um you know it went from like birth to death to like possibly cannibalism, but also might have been just a hallucination in all one episode. I would have loved the the ending of episode six to be the ending of episode seven, just for us to like sit in that moment for a little bit longer as a viewer and then get then get it cut off. And this was my same problem back in episode one when they showed Lottie right off the bat and the epi- they end episode one with Natalie escaping and, and going into the cult. And it's like, they don't, the writers are so anxious. And Johnny, you brought this point up in, in weeks past. They're so anxious to, to return to like the straight yeah, A to B it's... plot that they've, they've just got to tighten it. They've, uh, they let themselves go out and then they got to bring it right back in. And it's, it's not fun. It's not fun anymore. Yeah, it's it's unenjoyable, right? To be whipped back to in line every time you're having a good time. Acting was good, David. I heard uh, it's very original thought. 
And the the please. creator of the show seemed to be anxious to get somewhere. They don't let things marinate because it's too jerky. Right? Is that fair? Mm-hmm. And and I think that's that's enough, Dave. Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, that's why I like. No, I want to leave. I want to leave a little room for me and me and Noah. Okay, you know, you guys are. You're all done. Points. You're done. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that you're five foot four. You're a short man. The by the way, by the way, I I spoke for like fifteen out of the twenty minutes of this recording so far. No, really, I just forgot David's last point. But we're moving on. Um, Noah, I want to hear from you. Mm-hmm. Tell me, tell me a little about what you liked and disliked. Okay, try to well, keep I... it a little more brief than Stephen and Dave, because you know, I'm just kidding, yes. guys. <laughs> well, I like the acting. The acting was really good. <laughs> Again, original thought. Original thought. The ladies are and the men are doing their damnedest and they're doing a great job. I think they're carrying the show at this point. What I don't like about the show, I haven't liked Maybe any you'll... episode of season two. And I think six, seven, and eight kind of ref- are like a like exemplify m- my fears that I've been saying every time we spoke. Um, not to repeat any of the other one, any other guys, but I completely agree. There's a lack of tension. Um, there's a disjointed. There's you know they they open plot points and close plot points too quickly. Uh, there's a huge pacing issue. But to me, what really bothers me about this show and where I can't go, I can't enjoy it for what it is. It's heavy, heavy reliance on hallucinations. Everything at this point feels like a hallucination. Even they even hinted at the woods, the whole few past timeline being a hallucination because they have a foggy memory of it. Like there's a point where your hallucinations are going to collapse on each other. Like I know it's an easy way, it's an easy way to create um tension, an easy way to create a a scary moment, but there's such a thing as too much to the point where the audience will no longer trust something that happens and it will lose its impact. Like even Javi dying feels like, you know, people didn't really care, you know, cause it was kind of like, Oh, who knows what's going to happen? You know, it goes back to your point that you've been reaffirming every week that there's no tension because of the timeline issue. And because of that, they have to rely on gimmicks like hallucination because there's no way to create tension. I'm actually interested kind of in where it's going with this poison cup thing. I was going to say that, that that is the one other thing besides the acting. It feels like something has been set up, but I'm also very weary of it because the show has not done it. It hasn't earned my trust that they're actually going, something bad's going to happen. The the drinks could be a hallucination type of thing. That's where I'm at at this point. Yeah. If a dead mouse can be a pet, maybe those drinks could just be Kool Aid. So no, uh, that's where I'm idea. at this point. I have an idea. Yes. Because I, okay. I thought about this when we saw that when I saw it in the show. We should guess who's gonna die. I, I think it's obvious. I think it's I think it's Van because they introduce her terminal cancer, and the show loves to introduce someone the new topic and then immediately use it. <laughs> they either like do that or they never use it. It's one or the other. They don't simmer. They like introduce it and throw it away or they introduce it and they use it right away. If we're taking a vote, Johnny, I'm saying that it's going to be van, but the evil version of Thaisa drinks it instead. This show is so cowardice that they're going to have the cups to their <laughs> lips oh and little, little Mr. Cult man is going to come back. And there's going to say, you've got another call. And Sean is like, it's going to be Jeff. And it's the hospital calling Thaisa. Her wife's dead. She's the sacrifice. She drew the symbol on her wrist. She's the sacrifice. They probably forgot about the wrist drawing, I'll be honest. Yeah, they definitely forgot about it. <laughs> Thaisa's married? I thought she was in love with Van. I, I think uh... it's going to be Lottie, but I think Lottie is going to antler queen her way out of the death. I She's don't know what that Paul. means, but I like how it sounded. <laughs> um, but no, because she because she keeps seeing the antler queen, but it's also been, in my opinion, heavily implied that Lottie is the antler queen, or at least being possessed yeah, by. She the has her queen. own evil twin. Yeah, so I think yeah, that Lottie like is Ty. going to. 
I think she's going to drink it, but then I think the Antler Queen is going to pull some nonsense where she's going to. It's not going to kill her because she is the like how oh, they said well, the wilderness chooses. She is the wilderness. I have one more theory. I have one more theory. All right, all right, and then I gotta go. I know. I'm, go, sorry. Go, go, go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, okay. I want to hear your theory. So someone important dies. Shauna, like someone we 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 definitely did not think was gonna die. Shauna dies. She goes to the shadow zone, sees all the dead people that oh, died during the, the wilderness, zone. What is this, and they send her back to life. That oh. is that is my that, that is it. Happen. That is she my meets, guess. She meets no. her baby and then the end of the episode is oh, her baby. eyes opening. <gasps> yeah, I'm feeling yes. it. Yeah, this just show. like we did see the dead hunter, right? We did see the dead hunter at one point. Yeah, they got to bring the shadow zone back. And Lorelai, so Lorelai Lee, so what? Oh, just, no, no, you can you, interrupt. It's fine. You Everyone finished, is doing you it. Finished. <laughs> You finished Atlanta series, right? I did. Come on. The Come on, sensory deprivation tank episode? Yeah. <laughs> that that's really season. Good. That's actually how it's done. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking about the entire time when I was yeah. watching uh, episode eight, episode seven. I forgot. So yeah. I'll be quick. Acting was good. Check. Check. Original thought. I think. You're welcome. I, I'll just reaffirm the hallucination issue for me. What really lost me and I just never recovered was the episode with the birth, episode six. It was a triple plot twist where Sean is giving birth and the baby's either healthy, the baby either was eaten, or the baby just died in a stillbirth. And you just leave the end of the episode and thinking like, that could have been a great episode, but now I'm just confused. And now I just, I just don't care. And I just never recovered. So I think everyone made some really great points about tension. I think, again, exemplary acting. I think the show, I think we agree, has still has potential, but there's some fundamentals that are broken. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if where the show is right now, like if you can get over the Lost vibes, where like you already learned your lesson from Lost. Like Lost was off the rails and we thought it was going to recover and it never did. Yeah, and we're true. like, oh, you're off the rails. You're not getting back on the rails. That's true. That's true. You just can't. There's no. There's no mechanism to get a, get back on the rails. So, I just want to say, Lost was still insanely popular until the end of its run. Right? It didn't ever yeah. come across the the Game of Thrones level backlash. I would say. I don't know. Maybe you guys can fact check me on this. I, maybe the I, internet was less. I think less Lost developed. was the first burn, though. Like it was the first real burn where they got you so long with all these open threads, and they yes. never delivered. And right. everyone was like, "You can do that. You can." You the series. Turn <laughs> people Steven? along. Dave, yes, I do know. Oh, okay. No, I think you. I think you got a point, though. Stephen, that that the internet so wasn't as as yeah. popular as it is now. People didn't yeah. connect. Yeah, exactly. And I think everyone kind of kept it to themselves. Yeah. That being said, I know like the creators like Damon Lindelof like canceled his Twitter account because of the backlash from it eventually when social media became a thing. But like, I I forget what I was where I was going with this, but like. You're trying not to let me compare Lost and Yellow Jacket to what <laughs> you're trying to do. Yeah, I, I guess I guess so. My point is not to compare the two. My point is just to say that the viewers nowadays are wiser. It's streaming. People can watch things in batches. It's it's a different world. And you can't get away with these tricks that are, you know, 15 years old almost. I yeah, Yes. And I, I guess the, the point that I'm making is like people still like this show and have liked the, the three episodes that all of us five are like crapping on right now. And that's okay. Yeah. It's just like our – our vision of the TV shows that we want to see are different from everyone else's. And that's the same for each person over and over again. Like, yeah, it's like, you know, clearly, I was you telling know. Noah before you got on Steven before I I've been trying to catch up with secession, which you guys and many others have been encouraging me uh, mm-hmm. to watch for our viewers are not reviewing it, but it is a very interesting show. And I was saying that I think the writing and dialogue on that show is pretty unbelievable it's so engaging and in i in a good like, way in a, in, good a way. in a good way i want to watch yeah. it so much and i if you reflect on it not a lot is actually happening compared to this show think about the show plane crash cannibalism death murder hacking mm. and that show is a is a dialogue it's a dialogue and there's corporate dialogue maybe someone gets a gentle slap in the face uh 
but my point is there's no there's no there's not these major shakeups it's this really engaging dialogue um people aren't constantly getting murdered and cut out and disappearing and reappearing like it's it's actually pretty tame they're not using these cheap huge plot points like yellow jackets and yellow jackets is not delivering still in my opinion can i just say one thing i guess i want to defend why i feel like we don't like it compared to other people and i do think that has to do with lost you know we were all huge lost fans huge game of thrones fans. lies i didn't watch lost at all okay forget you nick Dude, you ain't the, important. Turn him off. Turn him you off. Ain't important. I actually didn't care about Lost at all. Wait, next, you're got... gonna say you didn't listen to Coldplay. Oh, such a hipster over here. <laughs> and and not to get emotional, but it kind of broke our hearts. Like Lost, really, it was like a really damaging relationship that we've carried throughout. And I feel like people that might like this show still trust that the writers have an end goal, even if it feels like they're being ping ponged back and forth. Mm-hmm. And I hope you're right. I really do. But I, but you have to look at it from our opinion. We are that aged, jaded viewer that does not trust them. And that's where we're coming from. And you might be coming from a bright-eyed, bushy-tailed optimist. And that's okay. We will see I, what happens in the end. I, I am very interested to hear what people eventually say about this show. There's also a different type of viewer where, you know, we're all in the same age and gender and kind of interest generally and i think there are certain people and this show caters to these people who are more interested in the relational aspect and the irony of the show is this show is a lot more interested in trying to get into these nuanced moments of relational issues on a case-by-case basis they're not worried about the larger tying it all off they have a large thread that they use as a structure but they just have these like little moments that they write about, right? And that's the interest for I think some of these people. Like they like to see the little dialogue and the, the little quip and the little fight and the little resolution. And I think that is something that we're like looking at the larger picture and like this is just not making sense. And those people are going back and they're just having some fun with it on a case by case basis. I like those things too, but I get those in succession. You know, I agree and with I, you. And that's I feel I like better. I get those better. <laughs> In secession, so I, mean, anyway, I so, come. I come to Yellow Jackets hoping for a cannibalistic, yeah. you know, teen yeah, horror fight. story. Yeah, but you know what, Johnny? That's not what they sold the show as. They didn't sell it as. I know, I know. That's my right. point. Dave. And David, point. in the show's defense, a show has every right to evolve from season to season, and like, right, yeah, they, they can, can sh- they can sell now. it as a premise. <laughs> they can they can sell it as a premise, but it can become something different, and that's that's dependent on what the writers want it to become, right? But but you have to deal with the backlash from it. If yes, exactly, you do. Yeah, but, but there's also like, a difference of giving a premise and then letting the show evolve from that premise, as opposed to promising somebody turkey and then you hand them a, a socket wrench. Like it's, it could be beyond meat, though, Nick. It could be like know, cricket, it, it, it's cricket so cricket incredibly Nick, ridiculously you, you did, not comparative. You know, like that. But you do you do get yeah you do get cannibalism. You do get yeah you do get it this season. Like you finally got it. You know, I, 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 you're right. Mm. <laughs> I want to activate our spooky screen protocol. Reminder, everyone, the protocol was that if we had five dislikes in, in uh, one of our recordings, that we were going to vote whether we would continue on. It has to be unanimous, I believe we said, or does it yes, three versus yes. two? No, it has, to, it has be to be unanimous. It has to be all five. So if, if it's a unanimous vote, uh, we do not. Just to be clear, we did. We do not know what the others are going to say right now. I'm actually kind of excited. <laughs> yeah. and, and a reminder: there's only one episode left in season two, the season finale. So, are we really going to take this thing in the back and shoot it, or are we going to commit and you know be Time steady boyfriend? Even, even, even though her. our girlfriend has cheated on us a bunch of times, it's season. <laughs> let's see, gonna, let's see how many off, like. Right? Let's this see how many metaphors we can come up with before this is we such an vote. abusive right. so, relationship. Right can we wanna... can we write this down? Because last time it was very I, hard. No, no, no. I want to oh, do this. I, I'm gonna. I don't, I don't have a board to write. I want to do. Nick up. literally went like this yeah, last time. So because I didn't up. know what was what was supposed to be the deciding vote of like if okay. this was like yes I hate it or no I don't want to watch it. I'm gonna set the ground rules. Okay. We're going to do the thumbs game that we did oh, before. Thumbs up or thumbs down. You. Thumbs up means that you are going to continue watching the show. Okay. You want to see the finale. Thumbs down 
means you do not want to watch and you took it out back. Hmm. We have a moment. We have a moment of silence. We're going to have a, a brief moment of silence. <laughs> of whether contemplation. They, what they want to do here because this is a big moment. And, and it's a hard choice. I don't know if we even all know what we're going to vote. I have uh, butterflies in my stomach. I'm yeah. going to wait till you guys kind of give me a sense of if you're ready, and then I'm going to do a countdown. How's everyone feeling? Are we, we good? Steven looks pretty ready. <laughs> I'm ready. He does, I know his David, vote. are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Nick, are you ready? Are we going to close our eyes? Well, Nick, did you vote? Hold on. I'm no, kidding. I'm saying I'm ready. <laughs> your, boy, your, okay. your boy's ready. I'm going to close ready. my eyes. I think we should all close our eyes and vote. Yeah. All right. All right. This is so wait, what is it again? Thumbs up to up, watch. Up means <laughs> you're going to watch it. Up means we want to watch it. Down means we do not want to watch it more. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to close uh, my eyes. On the count of three, everyone throws up or down a thumb. Everyone's eyes are closed. All right. We're going to vote. One, two, three. All right. Now, everyone, open your eyes. Oh! oh what? Wow, really? You guys what suck. Losers. <laughs> You Why are we right. doing this? I'm tired of my spouse beating me and thinking it's not a good idea. You to shall watch them. more episodes until the morale improves. This I is the most that. toxic you know, I... relationship I've ever been in, and I was in a pretty toxic one with dolphins. Oh my God. <laughs> we wow. are from... Hold on. That was a big yeah, that 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 A little bit more context there. Win. We slowed I, down. I'm our really crash. surprised. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I think right. We get to label the YouTube video "Why We Quit Yellow Jacket Season 2. You we can still wimped lie. out. <laughs> we can still lie to people. I'll explain. The Maybe beat, why Johnny the, quit Yellow Jacket. The beat season. marches on, baby. The beat I marches on. I have to finish. If I'm one episode away, I feel like I have to finish. Me like too. I, how, I owe it to how myself. How glorious would it have been to say, nah. No, no I couldn't. I couldn't bring <laughs> myself to it. You yeah. peaked. You three peaked or something. You texted. I'm. I'm. I'm subpoenaing your phone record. <laughs> no, no. The the protocol was in effect. The vote took place, and we will watch the finale and regroup with a review of the finale and our ultimate thoughts on season two of Yellow Jacket. So I want to thank all my co-hosts. I think it was a great episode. I want to thank the viewers who stuck around this long. We appreciate you. Drop a comment down. Tell us what you thought. Like and subscribe, guys. We'll catch you next time on episode nine of season two, Yellow Jackets. Peace. Bye.